Good to see you back in my summer car. It's been a while. 30th of June was the last day I played it. I took a massive hiatus from the game. I hadn't played since the Wasp update. Blimey, I think that was even longer. I'm glad he sorted the frame rates out. That's one thing he needed to fix. I don't know, Danny. I just had enough of it. I needed to take a break. I, I'd done everything in the game, really. That's the thing. Once you've done everything in the game, you're kind of left with a state of, well, do I just start again or what? That coupled with the poor frame rates, I just thought, meh. You haven't visited Granny yet. <laughs> when Granny's talking, you need to keep responding. Oh, you need to keep yeah, going. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She pays you more money. And you can go strawberry picking. Did I just miss the turn? Rip. I was too busy reading and chatting. I'm giving my fatigue level up on a do Yui. Welcome back, Natalia Mano. Uh, what was the Skyline announcement, Langevelt? Check every room in the house, you can order a PC and play games and find games around the map. Yeah, I think you're supposed to have to play it for a bit and then you get a letter about the PC, that's what someone said. See you, one four. Controls of your intro and intercity supply chains. Sounds intriguing. Robbie Wood, thank you for nine months. Congrats on passing your PPL scroll. Only three moments to the golden nut. The gold cap. You get the gold cap at 12. Give it a great work and love in the streams. <gasps> thank you, Robbie. Did I have my seatbelt on? Raft has an update. What's changed? All right, MDC, see you later. Industry's DLC, giving industry more content diversity and relevance. Hmm. It helps a very angry, demented old man sort him down. Please came. What was that today, Mr. Hasselmod? Never been hit by a train? Of course I've been hit by a train, Connor. Who was that? I don't know, it was uh, Hasselmod said that. I was reading what he put. He's doing work in apartments when he suddenly just came around and started wandering.
You can now officially marry people and perform funerals. So what are you going to do, Captain JC? Just made it back in time. I've got to go out tomorrow. Um, we'll put this out the back, I think. Got to bring my stuff in one by one. Just a yay. The items have shifted during the journey. I mean, th I think there should be a lot more friction. Look at this. <laughs> ground coffee. Do you know what? Let's go and quickly make a ground... Oh, we can't, can we? Welcome back. The coffee machine's not here, is it? There's no coffee machine here. Well, that's equipment. This can go inside. I don't know about you guys, but when I come home from Tesco, like this is this is pretty much what I do. I just, you know, explode the bag in the back of the car and then just carry everything in one at a time. Always with my left hand because I can't use my right hand, so just uh, just bring everything with my left hand. I wouldn't say I was itching to get back into it. It needed to be done though. How does this not break? Um, trying to think what the heck I ordered now. I don't know why you can't use your right hand, but look, he always seems to use his left. Was that the key? Look, it's always his left hand. So I don't know what's going on with his right. Go for it, get through that coffee. Right, we'll leave the rest in the back though. Can I stop giving the dev more ideas like thing breaking? I think he's probably got enough ideas. Oh, I'm stuck in the van. I can't walk out of the van any slower. Look. Could you suck our sewage well dry? I will pay, of course. Welcome to the nut house. What was that? Okay, that one. Riss for Ace, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the nut house, Riss. Appreciate the support, thank you. Let's put this outside. I'm waiting to see 
when we start passing out because the fatigue's red now. So pretty soon we should start passing out, yeah? Goalkeeper Matt. My summer, my summer, go. Uh, bag explosions are always hype and completely realistic, particularly tossing beers about them without shattering. Are you going to say hey to Wub Wub and Dub Dub with your truck then <laughs> in this stream? When I'm in the truck, I think we'll go bullying them. Always. Yeah, we'll check the mailbox in the morning and see if we've got a PC magazine or whatever it was. PC advert. We need to sleep. First. I'm glad he's made it so you don't die from fatigue now. Like, I think that's probably the first thing that he's ever done to the game. Like, I think that's the first time he's ever removed something that kills you. Like, he's added things that kill you, but to take something away, I don't think he's ever done that before. We need to bottle all this as well. We need to go and get the um, containers from the tip. That's working. I think that one's empty. Empty. Okay, we'll get rid of these. I don't know why you can only pick one thing at a time. It's just... I don't know. There's no logical explanation. Hang on, if it's Friday, we might actually get a phone call from... What's-his-face to pick him up from the pub. If we do, we're going to have to go in the van. have a backpack mod yeah i've not i've not uh, used the mods i've always stayed away from them So these we can technically get rid of now. Finally. What type of music is it? Finish. Fine, we'll burn it all. for health and safety reasons. Or maybe we won't. There we go. It's a lot safer now. Gonna have a shower, sort the rest out in the morning. Mm. 
Did he ever fix this? Oh, he did. Look, he fixed it. The infinite urine bug is finally gone. Look. He used to be able to drink and just permanently urinate. Not anymore. I guarantee we're going to get woken up in the middle of the night. Gee, I'm so surprised. Can you pick me up from the pub and drive me home? Yeah, alright. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. Did I leave the door open? I think I did. I can't see a thing. Seatbelt. Fasten seatbelt, handbrake, nope. That. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Honestly, can't see a thing. Oh, there's the tractor. I don't want to take the truck, I'd rather take the van. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it either. Right, it's third pub, so we'll go onto the highway and turn right, I think. I can't find the radio switch, so I can't turn it down. I don't know where the radio switch is. There it is. That's better. Some people like that kind of music. It's not for me. Yeah, I don't. Th I think the truck has an in uh, an internal cab light, but I don't think the van does. Maybe we'll get a bit of plot as well from the guy. I listen to that and fall asleep in bed. Well, that's what I just did. Saturday it's race day. No, I don't have any mud. I'll be happier when we get on the highway. Saturday night dance hall fight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've got to go to the... Should we go... Actually, can you walk to the dance... If you go over on the boat, can you get off and walk up? I quite fancy going to the dance in a, on a boat. In my tuxedo. That would be kind of cool. Take the car, go to Mons, kill Phil, grab Les, go to the Winchester, have a nice pint of cold, wait for this to blow over. Why, governor? <laughs> I watched, um, last night I went out with my friend for his birthday and I watched, um, what's it called? King of Thieves with Michael Caine and Rob Winston and all that. 
It's a very, very British movie. Very British. It's really good. It's got quite a lot of good humour in it. And it kind of... It, take, it takes a path halfway through that you don't expect it to go down. It's quite fun. Uh, trusting Scar, thank you for four months. Oboe with 11. Lotus with 49 months. Evening, Governor. Hope you're well. Um, I'm down your neck of the woods. One sec. Why is it true? I'm down your neck of the woods next month with Birds of Prey doing a flying show. About a 500 mile round trip. No chance of a lift and a rental plane. <laughs> Enjoy, Lotus. If you like films like Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, you know, that kind of British movie, you know, or um, Train Spotting or anything like that, you'll like it. Uh, Dekulzen, uh, one. Thank you for subbing, Dekulzen. Welcome to the new house, thank you. No, I didn't see any of them with tattoos on, actually, I don't think. Not many. It's actually semi-based on a true story as well, which I thought was interesting. You know, the basic premise is that they're essentially retired criminals. They're quite old, but they're getting bored. So they kind of go in for one more heist kind of thing. What am I doing stopping here? I don't know why I'm stopping there. Cricketer, how you doing? I plan to watch Johnny English this week. Any tips on flying into a different zone, meaning dealing with jet lag? Uh, flying west is easier than flying east. There, there are many theories on jet lag. Many theories. Some people say the real solution is not to eat on board. There's some research that suggests if you if you don't eat on board the plane, it helps to reset your clock. Personally, I've paid for the uh, the movie. I paid for the food on board. I'm going to eat it. Wait, how did he? I swore I saw him by the side of the car. Can't believe he's still moving. You drove your car to the island. How? Harry Brown is a good film. Uh, I need to tell you something, you know, nobody knows that I'm a very rich man, a millionaire. Keep talking, bro. Keep talking. My wife did not know she had a winning lottery ticket. I took it and got the money myself. What a scumbag. Five million marks. What a scumbag. He's saying a lot of stuff and there's only one sentence coming out. Come on, where's the translate? Here we are. I have the money hidden in a suitcase. But I can't use the money because my wife would get suspicious. She would leave me if she had that money. This is a weird story. Why don't you just tell the wife that you've won the lottery? 
I'm pretty certain his wife kicked him out at some point anyway. I need to act like I always do. I am richest drunk bum there is. At least my wife stays with me. Not some dorky thin sweet tomato fun. <laughs> I'm sure if some guy completely drunk and topless told me he was a millionaire, I'd be like, yeah, 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 sure, sure you are. Yeah, but I heard if you take the suitcase, like, he doesn't give you any more missions, does he? Something like that. I find his story a little bit weird though. He won the lottery, with his wife won the lottery, so he didn't tell her. And the money will ruin things, so he's just gonna do nothing and drink. It's just bizarre. Uh, I'll have a coffee, please. Thanks. If you take the suitcase, he comes and kills you. Yeah, I'm not gonna take it. I think he's uh, not going to talk anymore. At one point, will he ask us to help him to move house? The guy speaks really slowly and some of it is lost in translation. Quite funny to watch this as a film. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, the English sent like he come out with a load of words and then one English sentence kind of implies to me like he was saying a lot more. Oh, we have to find his suitcase. And then what, take it back to him? That's a lot of car headlights coming this way. Finish the story, he will call somebody and you will have to help him with the van. Yeah, TV translation. Whoa, I don't remember that being quite such a big drop on either side. Yeah, but Captain Flint, there's hardly ever any text on the screen, that's the thing. Five hundred mark. It'll barely cover the fuel. Enjoy. Is he not going to collapse? He normally collapses. I don't re recommend the rift or the vibe. Uh, personally, I quite like the rift. I think if you want, if you've got the room. If you've got like a big room, the Vive gives you the full room stuff pretty pretty well. If you've not, the Rift is pretty cool. Works in smaller spaces. No, he just normally gets out and goes la 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 la. Started a new game, we got 2,000 tickets. Rip.
it's not only when you hit him. I've seen him get out of my car and collapse on the floor. I've not moved. I've had to get out and drag him off the road. It was a bug. He knocked himself out the door. Right. So that's been fixed. How do we um? How do we alter the valve timing thing? Because apparently you need to adjust the valve timing. Atari. Yeah, but it says you can do it yourself as well. Planet, how are you doing? I mean, I could just drag the car around there, I guess. Get from Tori to do it. I think what I might do is go over to the island and, um... So what we could do is take the car down to you know, Saturday if Futari doesn't open on Saturday. Monday? Is it Monday to Friday for Futari? We can go to the island and fish, drink coffee and then go for a dance and have a punch up. Sounds like a good Saturday to me. Should have just said that. <laughs> well, I can't fix the car until Fritari's open, and I think he only opens Monday to Friday. So, not a lot we can do. First was, let's see. Has it got a belt on it? I can't remember where the alternator belt went. does not so we have to put the belt back on and adjust it don't we can you technically teach your kids how to fly no you're not allowed to teach anybody how to fly unless you get qualified as an instructor I'm good thank you Mr. Tichu Mr. Branson, how are you doing? 3.30 a.m. And you can't sleep, do you sort of Dude, your body clock's going to be so messed up right now. I take it you got back okay. Not too arduous. Oh, I've forgotten how we put this thing on now. Do we have to undo something to put it on?
sleepers for the week. Uh -huh. Radiator hose. I remember you have to adjust. You kind of loosen that with the screwdriver, I think. You loosen that, then that moves, and then you put the belt on, something like that. Let's get the um, tool. You got back fine. Happy anniversary, matter. Uh, I see people in the US teaching people how to fly and not their instructors. <sighs> okay, so... Legally, they're not allowed to do it, but yeah. I think it was a screwdriver. Oh, there you go. You do that, and then you do that. And then presumably that now goes on. Oh my god. How do you get this thing to line up with a tick mark? Uh, what's a thank you for the moments at Cosford, the beers, even if you didn't want to taste the beer cheese. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't want to taste the beer cheese. But Durka seemed to appreciate it. Yeah, I passed the radio exam, Bretson. Missed it to chew. I, I passed it, and then... I passed it Monday morning. And then Monday afternoon, I filled all the forms and sent them off. Uh, so they arrived with the CAA on Tuesday morning. So now I just wait. Yeah, but the problem with that is with Dima, the person teaching, because they're not a qualified instructor, might end up teaching the wrong thing, right? Why would this thing go on? No, I had it then. I had it. I saw it for a moment. Oh, you scumbag. I saw the tick mark for one brief second. There, 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 there it is. Oh my god. Talk about tedious. Problem is, you've got to get the tension on that, right? And the only way to do that is to start the car. And if I start the car with the valves not working properly, it could be fun. Mr. Savamura. I wasn't able to teach you the A10, eh? <laughs> Dude, have you seen the um, F14, was it? That video they did? Oh my god. Oh my god, that the detail. Extraordinary. Inside of that cockpit was amazing. Matroshka, 19 months. Uh, so I haven't been around much, but uni just started for me last week. We'll pop by when I can. Dude, best of luck. See you when you're able. Quickly give that a cheeky save. Old Petter, thank you for three months. Official Joe, two months. Good to see you playing Mighty McCall. Inaccurate Marksman has almost hit 11 months. 12 months, sorry. And Dan Baker with two. And Leanna E. Welcome back. Happy anniversary. Oh, aye, aye, aye. aye. Uh, Tomcat gets a lot of attention from non flight sim gaming communities. It's nuts. I was looking at the inside of that and thinking. I may just go and fly that bad boy. That looks amazing. Have you got it yet, uh, Savamura? Did you buy it? Clean the toilet. I can't clean the toilet. The game doesn't provide a way of cleaning the toilet. That was a pun, Langevelt. That's a proper pun there from me. Completely intended. Uh, thank you, MV. It did, didn't it, Neil Lynch? You pre-ordered on the night they published the Tomcat. When does it come out exactly? Oh, 
I might have to get that. Yeah, exactly. Teens don't clean toilets. Do you know what? That is so true. Apart from the one time that I went to Mallorca with my friend when I was 16 and uh, we both brought back a lot of cheap wine and uh, we binge drunk a load of it on a Saturday night. And um, yeah, I woke up. We, we crashed out in my room and I remember us both waking up. And the first thing I saw was at the bottom of my, of my uh, bed was a, a large wet patch. And then on the floor was a big pile of sick. <laughs> yeah, apparently that was me. I'd done that. Yeah. And that that stain, it, it must have been there for hours. That stain never came out of the carpet, ever. But that wasn't the best thing. The best thing was when I walked into the um, the bathroom where apparently my friend had gone in the middle of the night and he'd managed to pebble dash the walls and my mum was not impressed. And that was the one time that we got to clean the toilet properly. Uh, hood lock. There we go. That, that wine was so nasty. Oh my God. We looked at it and there's like those bits. Oh, it was such a nasty cheap wine. I think it was honestly, well, it wasn't a euro. It was like a 200 pesetas back then, which is more or less about £1.80 or something. It was ridiculously cheap wine. Wait, why can't, why can't I lean left in this car? I can lean right, but I can't lean left. What is that? This is a ding, 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 ding. Right, well, that's the alternator sorted out, but the uh, the valves need adjusting. The ticking is the valve timing that needs adjusting. So we're going to have to take it to Flitari to do it, but Flitari's not open on Saturday, so we can't do much with that. Um, Have you tried the Hornet? Not much, no. I've just been too busy, man. I haven't fired up DCS in months. But when I saw the the, um, the Tomcat, I was like, you know what, I might have to fly that. When did it come out? I think I missed it if you posted it. Duke, the F-14 looks incredible. 200 bits. Guys, if you've not seen it, you should watch that video. The inside the texturing is just like next gen. Vinda Tulu, <laughs> thank you for five months. Check the wiki for a timing table so we can just do it ourselves. We're we going to DIY it. Is that what we're saying? My summer car wiki uh, valve timing. Um. Electric Boogaloo, fan belt. <sighs> Just valves with a screwdriver. There's no release date yet. They mentioned they were aiming for Christmas. Ah, right, okay. Tuning your valve train. Blimey. That's some complex stuff going on here.
how to tune your valve train. Remove the rocker cover to access the valve adjustment screws with the engine running and warmed up to the ideal temperature. Adjust each one with a screwdriver. Mount scroll to tighten. Mount scroll lo loosen. If the valves are too tight or loose, they will make a ticking noise. Car performs best and the valves are as loose as possible without ticking. Be careful not to go too far in either direction or the engine can stall. This happens immediately reverse what you just did. Oh my god. The best way to loosen each valve until it starts ticking, then carefully retighten. Looks easy, you reckon? Exact in-game value. Red equals ticking, scrolling up decreases the values, 12 equals bottom, 1 equals top. Scroll up for lower values, scroll down for higher. That makes perfect sense. Our timing isn't actually that tricky to do, just need the engine running really. What's this? And what did he just grab then? Okay, remove the rocket cover, 7mm spanner. Screwdriver. There are two steps to adjusting valves correctly. One, roll your mouse wheel forward about 25 clicks. Then roll it back 11. <laughs> 25 forward, 11 back. Sounds like a safe crack. Repeat this for every single valve. There are eight valves in total. Oh yeah, Pringle. I should do it while eating a sandwich and looking the other way. Because, like, it's not even a challenge otherwise. That's the cheating wave. Come on, dude. Why is that cheating? Put the rocket cover back on. Do you have to put oil in? Wait, does taking the rocker cover off empty your engine of oil or something? Or is he just doing it during the build at the start, maybe? All right, let's try it. You've done it that way plenty of times. <laughs> We don't need Flitari. We'll do it ourselves. Uh, was it a seven mil, wasn't it? Well, the trouble with Flitari is A, he's got to be open. B, we have to take the vehicle down there. C, he's going to charge us money. Like, if we can just do it ourselves. Frostbites, thank you for nine months there. Welcome back. Happy anniversary, Nutter. Okay, there's the cover. All right. Now I've got to be scientific about this. Happy anniversary, Nutter. 
you know, the most awkward thing about this game is just getting into position. Right. Um, that's the first one. So it was 25 forward, 11 back, wasn't it? So if you just keep turning it forward for a bit. Jaggis, how you doing? And then become back on the scroll wheel 11 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, the engine doesn't have to be running. Hang on. Let's see how many turns it takes to... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it's fourteen approximately. It's about twenty-eight for a full turn. So as long as you do a complete turn, you've done over the twenty-five. And then just roll it back eleven. You can spray paint parts of the engine. Which bits? One, two, three, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11. It's your birthday, Jagus. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Terrible song. Right. Blocked the rocker cover, the crankshaft pulley. Oh, nice. Let's have a little spray in a minute. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't have a favorite song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, so that's those four done. Let's go on the other side. You can tune the distributor. In what way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Loosen the screw, then rotate to change the ignition timing. Interesting. Last one. So if you adjust the ignition timing indeed, like what can you do to it? Like get more power out of it or what? Okay. Jack M, why do you ask, sir? Uh... 
it's also needed when using nitrous. Hmm. So that didn't change the oil any. It's fine. That's what it sounds like. Oh, you're planning to rob my house, Jack M. Okay. I heard a pop then. Did you hear that? Did you hear that pop? I don't like the sound of that pop. You have to delay the ignition time and to prevent premature detonation before the piston is at top dead center. It made a pop, but it sounds okay now. You meant Poof. Get it up to um, temperature and see what it idles out on the fuel. Did you get your cam crankshaft line when you're at the building engine or an all save? Um, it's it's the one that save I had on 30th of June. I think that's all sorted. I'm not 100% though. This is new. Milk, sugar, sausages. I've had this before. Milk, sugar, and sausage from Timo's. That's the best grandma voice I've ever heard. All right. Let's see if it runs then. Leave that off for a second, I just want to hear it. I really need to move that tractor. What that noise? No, we'll check the mailbox when we get back. I am a little bit worried the fact we're going to be too fatigued to go to the dance on Saturday evening. Why is the exhaust going to fall off, Ainsley? definitely changed the audio. I, I can hear tire noise a lot more now. Well, yes and no fun. I want to get rid of the fatigue so we don't fall asleep during the dance. <laughs> I want to actually fight the guy. Oh yeah, that's true. We can get a coffee from Grandma. Forgot she had coffee as well.
It seems to be behaving. All these people watching the rally, I come blasting down and take a right and like, whoa! Yeah, the FPS is definitely back to where it should be. Mr. Handbone, welcome back. Whoa, flat beat. Look at that. 60 months. Five year hype. Thank you for the countless hours of, of quality entertainment. Flat beat, dude. What can I say? Thank you for five years. Oh, that's really massive of you. Five years. New acorn. Get it. <laughs> 